Welcome back to Comic Universe, the only nerd-centric thing you need in your life. Uh, DPZ rolling solo again, and um, doing another comic book review from um, our good friend Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, hope you're watching. And today, uh, I'm going to be reviewing Captain Canuck, Volume 1. Now, uh, Captain Canuck is a not a Marvel or DC character. It's more of a... Uh, it's more of a storyline. It's more of a story... It's more of a... Uh, not storyline. Why did I say storyline? It's more of a Canada-based superhero from Canadian comics. And this is the retooling of the character. This is the reboot of the character. Now, um, the character in question is a guy by the name of Tom Evans who is Canada's top secret agent. He is essentially called in to deal with uh, situations that no one, you know, that no normal person can handle. And um, in here, we also have uh, the group he works for called Equilibrium. And Equilibrium is kind of like Canada's shield in this universe. Um, now, what I like about this comic is like how, like, how action-packed it is. It's very much like a super-powered James Bond. If he was Canadian. That's kind of what it is, is that it's very much like a Canadian James Bond and Captain America put together. That's what it feels like. If James, if Captain America and James Bond fused in the, and that fusion became Canada, well, Canadian, it would be Captain Canuck. And Tom Evans is a very likable character. He's very much in, um, like a Captain America Steve Rogers character where he just wants to do the right thing, even though the right thing means, you know... Bull, you know, going through a lot of bad stuff to get there. Um, in this story, he and Equilibrium are on the hunt for Tom's brother, Michael, who has been presumably abducted by a man named Mr. Gold, who can essentially use gold to turn people into zombies. But that's not the main crux of his story. That is, uh, it's only part one, it's only like the first step, and Mr. Gold is actually looking for an alien life form in the Arctic. So, yeah, we've got, you know, science fiction, you've got spy stuff in here, and you've got quite a lot of action. Um, there's a ton of great action in here. The artwork is great. I, you know, I really dig the artwork in here. It feels um, very, it, like, very pulpy, but at the same time, it has a grittiness to it. It's really hard to explain, honestly. It's kind of hard to explain uh, just the art style in here. It just feels right, is all I'm going to say. It just feels completely right. Um, in that regard. It really does feel right. Um, I do like how Tom and Michael, like, they ha are very opposite end of the spectrum on both ends. Like, Tom is very do, you know, do right, and he, he will do right no matter what. Well, Mikey, uh, Michael is very, you know, shady. He's very, you know, he's very, um, uncaring, and they're very, uh, but they both have, like, this love and respect for one another because they're brothers. Um, even though they do, they do not disagree on, you know, you know, they disagree on about everything else. And it's kind of funny because that's how me and my brother actually work, where my brother will try to do the right thing and I will not. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say on that is that I, he'll try to do the right thing. I won't. That's, that's, that's kind of what we're looking at here. I, I never said I was a good person, people. I don't claim to be a good person. Anyway. Uh, we also have a great cast of characters in here. Mr. Gold, while he is, like, while he is an interesting villain, he does, like, he does feel kind of superfluous by the end of this. Um, it's more about a story between Tom and, and Michael, uh, the Evans brothers. We also have, um, another character called Yvette, who's known as Quebec. Not Quebec, it's Quebec. And she's an expert sniper. Imagine if Bullseye was a, uh... Imagine if Bullseye was a good guy. Imagine that. So, Ultimate Hawkeye, really. <laughs> anyway, uh, I like Quebec. She's more or less the support, uh, the supporting off, the support character, the sidekick for Captain Canuck. If she can shoot it, she can kill someone with it. That's that's basically her whole deal. They also do something really cool. It, um, they also she also has a mental illness that is handled very well, they handle the mental illness very well, but they don't, at the same time, they don't parade it around and say, look at this very unique character, look how diverse and, and unique we are. 
They don't do that, thankfully. They hit a nice balance of showing that character and showing what that that mental illness is and what it's like having it, but at the same time, they don't go overboard with it. So I really do like that. Um, I do have, having said this, while I do did while I did like this book, um, I did like this um, series. I will say that the, I do have some problems at the same time. I do have some problems um, at the same time with it. First off, and I don't mean this as like a jab at anyone, but this comic is really Canadian, guys. Like, there are places in here and sayings and like references to Canada. I know this book is meant to be for Cana it's by Canadians for Canadians, but I am the furthest away from Canada. I live in Florida. That's about it, like, that's almost as far away in the U.S. you can get from Canada. So, I didn't get it. I mean, it's a nice look at the culture. Don't get me wrong. It's a very nice look at the culture. I'm just saying, my dumbass doesn't know anything about Canada. So, it was a little hard for me to pick up on all the little Canadian sayings because one of the main character, Yvette, speaks in French-Canadian, and I don't know a lick of French-Canadian. So, I had to Google Translate every time she said something. Again, I don't mean this as a dig at Canadians. I'm just saying that... As a non-Canadian who still liked this comic, don't get me wrong, I still liked it, it was difficult for me to read because it was very much, you know, ingrained in, that, in the Canadian society and how it worked. So it was a little difficult. It's not reader-friendly is what I'm saying for, you know, not, you know, people who don't understand the Canadian culture. So... It was a little hard for me to do that. It was a little hard, but don't get me wrong. Don't misunderstand me. I did like this book. I did like this comic. Um, and it does make me want to end. On the plus side, it makes me want to go learn more about, you know, Canadian culture. So you got that. It's a, it's a brochure for Canada and being in a comic at the same time. It's amazing. It's downright amazing they can do that. So, you know, give it props for that. So, would I recommend Captain Canuck? Absolutely, I totally recommend Captain Canuck 100%. Um, even though, e even it, like, again, I have to stress that if you don't know much about Canadian culture, you're probably going to get lost on some of the lingo, um, the French-Canadian lingo, I mean, and some of, like, the places and how they operate. You're going to get a lo little lost on that, but it's not going to, like, it's not going to, what I'm saying is it's not going to, like, take your interest out of it. There's still enough interest um, and action and science and sci-fi stuff in here to really, you know, get you through it. It's very much, and it does, it probably will make you go want to learn more about Canada, like it does for me. So there you go, guys. That is my review of Captain Canuck Volume 1. want to thank uh, my good friend, uh, Mount Vernon Kid, for sending this. Chris, thank you once again. And if you're new here, if you're new on the channel, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. I want to remind everyone once again that we are still doing a giveaway for Detective Comics number 1000, so you guys can go a few videos back, check out that video, and uh, learn the rules of how you can not only win a variant uh, cover of the issue of Detective Comics number 1000, but also be in the runnings for a Batman Who Laughs pop figure. So uh, just go back and check that video out, and, we, and I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.